Former President John Dramani Mahama has reiterated some policies he has asked Ghanaians to hold him accountable to should he fail to execute if he wins the 2024 elections. He says these and many more policies would be executed should he assume power in 2025. Addressing supporters of the party at his post flag bearership acceptance speech held in Tamale, the northern regional capital, the NDC flag bearer said the next NDC government will restore its stability inclusive growth of the economy and rejuvenate the collapsed banking sector. The post flag bearership acceptance speech event which was held in Tamale brought together high profile dignitaries of the NDC across the country. They included former government ministers, members of parliament, chiefs among others. Speaking at the event, the NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama said he wants Ghanaians to remember these policies and hold him accountable. I want to reiterate some of the other commitments I made to the people of Ghana on the campaign. when I assume office on January 7th, 2025, God willing. We will restore stability and inclusive growth in the economy, and we shall rejuvenate the almost collapsed banks and the financial sector. And this will involve sweeping reforms at the Bank of Ghana because the central bank itself has been a part of creating this problem. I'll create the foundation that will ensure that Ghana will never suffer such a deadly debt management program that threatens to send our elderly people holding government bonds to an early grave and wipe out the investments of the Ghanaian middle class. I'll prioritize local participation in the banking, financial, telecoms, mining, oil and gas, agriculture, manufacturing and construction sectors to generate more jobs for our youth. The Ghanaian young men and women we interact with on a daily basis and their colleagues in other African countries are simply tired of the jobless GDP figures. We will actively attract viable and serious private sector investors to partner government to invest in the productive sectors of this country for more jobs to be created. I will advocate strongly the return of investors who have left because of the poor management of this economy by NDP. This will involve an emphasis on agriculture and agribusiness and will have a strong focus on making Ghanaians own their own micro enterprises. I'll complete abandoned and ongoing projects instead of rushing to start new ones. We will carry out an inventory of all hospitals, schools, electrification, water and road projects which have stalled or been abandoned and we will make an annual budgetary allocation for their completion. And as I said already, I will run the leaders but most efficient government under the Fourth Republic by appointing not more than 60 ministers and deputy ministers. And I said already, I will work to abolish the payment of ex gratia and cut out waste and ostentation in government. We shall work with Parliament and all stakeholders to complete the constitutional review process and strengthen the separation of powers. Government procurement is recognized as a major source of corruption and misappropriation of public funds. We will therefore, among other measures, set up an independent value for money office to scrutinize all government procurements that are above a $5 million threshold, or as shall be recommended by Parliament. I will give anti-corruption state institutions unfettered space to operate. The days of the clearing agent must come to an end on January 7, 2025. I will also set up a commission of inquiry to investigate the matter of looted and stolen state lands. The same commission will 
make recommendations for resolving the vexed issue of expropriated garden and bailments. Mr. Mahama said they would ensure a speedy investigation into the death of investigative journalist Ahmed Swali. And to keep in our democracy the fourth estate of the realm, the media must also be given a conducive and collaborative atmosphere to operate as the fourth power that they ought to be without threats, harassment and assassinations. In this regard, we shall speed up the investigation of the assassination of Ahmed Swali. And the perpetrators shall surely be brought to book. He called on all to rally behind the NDC to help the party recapture power to save the country, Ghana. But first we must win the elections in 2024. And that will require from all of us hard work and winning the trust of the people of Ghana. The NDC and Ghana's interests must therefore continue to guide and bind us all together as one people from one great family. From today right here in the Hall of the University of Development Studies, I declare that the internal competition for the flag bearership position is over. You have chosen experience with vision over experiment. And I'm confident that in December 2024, Ghanaians will make that choice that puts us back on the path of building the Ghana we want together.